I'm 46 years old. I've been at Microsoft for 22 of those 46 years. Like anyone else, um, my experience and, you know, and how I think is all been shaped, I guess, by my life's experience. I was not really planning on looking back at my life. I was mostly thinking about, hey, what's the transformation that we're going through while we're going through it? Because that was the real motivation. Uh, but the one thing that I would say that defines me is I love to learn. I get excited about new things. Uh, I buy more books than I read uh, or finish. Um, I sign up for more online courses than I can actually finish. But the thing about being able to watch people do great things, learn new concepts, is something that truly excites me. Um, I think the thing that I now recognize more so than when I was growing up is the space I got. I think that the ability to think for yourself uh, the ability to follow your own passion versus trying to fit a particular mold in the long run has been more beneficial than any academic excellence in the short run could have. And uh, uh, that I think is something that I now think is perhaps uh, as important as we think about all of what we say is needed in education. First thing I want to do and focus on is ruthlessly remove any obstacles uh, that allow us to innovate, every individual in an organization to innovate, and then focus all of that innovation uh, on things that can uniquely do. Uh, you know, we are the company that enables people to do more, uh, you know, to play, you know, get more, have more fun, uh, to create more. So in some sense, we refer to ourselves as the do more company, and I want us to be able to take that focus and innovation forward. The courage to be able to both look at uh, what needs to be fixed and also recognize uh, what is good, uh, the smarts for that, I think is something that I quite frankly learned from those. In fact, Bill and his forward uh, probably captures the logic of Hit Refresh the best, which is it's not about changing everything, it's about changing what needs to be changed and therein lies the trick, so to speak. Uh, but they were very clear, in fact, Steve's last piece of advice to me was be your own person. Let's start with recognizing how important it is uh, for our business. Uh, and I'm a consummate insider. I grew up in the company that uh, Paul and Bill founded and uh, Steve and Bill created. Uh, I had that outsider's perspective as best as one can have having grown up there uh, to be able to say, hey, look, these are things that we absolutely need to change. I'm the CEO. Uh, Bill can give me the most critical feedback, but it's up to me uh, to make sure that I'm leading the company. And uh, so there is no confusion on that. But I value, uh, quite frankly, Bill's, uh, if Bill disagrees, it's something that I probably should go look at again. Both Bill and Steve, one of the things that is just pretty stunning to me is their intellectual honesty. What I mean by that is their ability to see things, good and bad, uh, but most importantly, things that need to be improved uh, with such clarity. Um, and I've always felt that at Microsoft there would be lots of people who would run around uh, wanting to be like Bill and Steve, um, except that we would not have that same level of intellectual honesty. Uh, but that is just such a high standard uh, and more importantly, such an inspiring standard they set uh, for all of us. If I've learned one thing in my, whatever, three and a half years as a CEO, is the true multi-constituent nature of the job, right? It's not as simple as thinking of it as just the shareholders, just the customers, just the employees, just the government. It's all of these forces simultaneously all the time. Uh, for a large multinational company like ours, really balancing all of this uh, is what is required. So I think, in fact, it's for companies that have been around for a while, that in fact have had tremendous success, that's when culture becomes most important. Because the culture that got you that first success may not, in fact, get you to the next. Uh, being mindful of that systems problem, so to speak, uh, I think is the job of the CEO. Uh, that's where, when I think about how can a CEO be the first one to admit what needs to be refreshed, 
uh, is super important. Uh, and that's what I'm recognizing. After all, Microsoft in 43 years has hit refresh multiple times and been able to catch a lot of big waves. We wouldn't be around competing with a whole set of new people uh, if we had not changed a lot. Uh, but also we missed a few. And so the question is, how do we recognize uh, these moments? With some encouragement, I went back and tried to sort of trace what are these hit refresh moments, so to speak, even in, from my past. You know, when Zane was born, I was 29 um, because of his in utero asphyxiation and he had severe brain damage, which led to cerebral palsy. But for the first couple of years, I must say, I struggled with it. In fact, everything that I thought was my plan, in some sense, fell apart. If you had even asked uh, me uh, just the night he was born, a few hours before, what was sort of going through my head, I would have been more, uh, when is Anu, my wife, going to get back to work as an architect? Or what's, is the nursery going to be ready? How are our weekends going to change? Uh, and yet, that night, everything changed. And it was all about me, and I was, oh, why did this happen to me? Why did this happen to us? And in some sense, over the years, without actually schooling me, she schooled me that nothing happened to me. Uh, something happened to Zane, and I needed to step up as my, his father. And that, to me, uh, is perhaps that most tough lesson uh, that one, uh, you know, life teaches you, is to be able to see it uh, life through others' eyes. Um, and that to me is perhaps where a bit of more of this need for empathy comes from. Uh, it definitely changed uh, who I was as a, uh, as a person, whether it's at home uh, or at work. When I look at it in Microsoft, we talk about our mission is empowering every person in every organization. And it has to start with representing that every person in every organization inside. If you recognize that importance, then you will go to work like we are in saying, okay, where's, what's the representation? We took a, a very different approach uh, to integration this time around because the goal was to have very tight alignment around mission and strategy and vision for what we want to do. And we'll have multiple competitors, whether it is Amazon uh, or Google, who are strong in some layers but we will fight for what we believe is the rights of our people. That, to me, is ultimately uh, how I think we have to measure our success. And that's what's going to cause, uh, but I would claim that we are probably the only enterprise company uh, that has strength across all the layers that are key uh, to enterprise customers. We have uh, the talent, the resources, and perseverance like no one else has. Uh, and then you take that and combine it with that fact that the world going forward is more of a software-powered world delivered in devices and services. Uh, I think we have the best platform to change the world. I just don't worry as much about looking at, hey, the product or the technology, somebody else got to it. Uh, the question is, are we able to go back to that sense of purpose that we have of what we can do with the technology, however novel and new it is, it has to be something that fits with our identity. As I said, uh, even if somebody else gets to a quantum uh, computer first, uh, what are they going to do with it versus what we're going to do it with it is going to be probably very different. Uh, because the pace of change is such and rapid that we absolutely are going to look at the unintended consequences of technology and make sure that we do not trade away some of these timeless values. With any new technology, uh, there is a lot of good that comes with it, and we should first grab hold of it and then be clear-eyed about any unintended consequences. Uh, that's, I think, how we're going to keep going forward. How did you feel when you were offered the role? Um, honored, humbled, excited. Those would be the three words that come to mind. I mean, uh, it's a question I ask myself um, very deeply. Uh, when the opportunity came up. Um, and when I think about the core of why I'm here, it is about impact. Uh, and in a software-powered world, which better, you know, what's a better place than Microsoft? Imply it uh, to a world that's rapidly becoming more software-driven. And that opportunity is what fundamentally drives me and got me to take this, uh, you know, raise my hand for this job. And lastly, I want every one of us to find more meaning uh, at work. We spend far, more time, you know, far too much time at work for it not to have deep meaning. And that's where 
our heritage of being, having been the productivity company to now being the do more company where we get every individual and every organization to get more out of every moment of their life uh, is what we want to get focused on.